I promise you, if you share this with the world, it's you I'll be arresting. This was left in Cottonware's body. Do you have any other? You know, um, well, in that case, I'm with you. What meeting? We talked to her roommate, too. Says you called Sarah, told her to come down to the studio. Battery. Mr. Riley, you have a cell phone I could borrow? Thank you. Maybe there is a third killer. Sydney might know something. Is. I need that is for me to decide. I need to talk to her, Mr. Riley. She is a key element in this case. I have a press conference in an hour. I need to explain why there are three dead celebrities and a bodyguard. And a very angry mayor. Okay, look, we all. Maureen. What's your problem? Do you want to have this conversation with a polygraph? Is that a threat, detective? When it's a threat, you'll know it. So, where is she? They look a lot like publicity stills. No, he was there. I am not dreaming. I am not crazy. Call me Mark. Would you? Because I'm going to keep calling you, Sydney. Well, all I know about movie trilogies is that in the third one, all bets are off. No, they tend to put me on the ones that deal with the business. I grew up here, and I know my way around the studios. I'm a homicide detective, remember? Can't arrest ghosts. But the best way to do here. You're not hiding. You've done the right thing, Miss Prescott. Because that means that we're dealing with an ordinary flesh and blood killer. And I know how to handle guys like that. Oh, yeah. How? <laughs> Catch him or kill him. Hey, detective. What's your favorite scary movie? My life. Miss Prescott, put the gun down.